Yeah, so the mountain has won and I haven't seen any time again, but the views have been fantastic. It's been so, so nice up here. Well, hi folks, I am at about 750 metres in the Cairngorms, camping in the snow, and it is fantastic, it's really, really nice up here. There have been uh, a few little flurries of snow coming in and clouds coming in, but a lot of the time it's actually been really nicely moonlit and it's just absolutely beautiful. On the way up, some of the time the moonlight was even bright enough that I could just walk up the hill without even putting my head torch on. It was really, really nice. It was great fun. Oh, it was hard work though, coming up here with all the kit. Really hard work. Um, the last hundred metres or so of ascent, the snow was really quite kind of powdery and uh, not very supporting and I was just sort of falling through sometimes to my knees. I'd been following somebody else's uh, footprints and it's always good when someone else has broken trail but it got to a certain point and they put their snowshoes on 
I don't have any snowshoes. So uh, from that point on, I was sinking in. Anyway, apart from it being awesome, what am I doing up here? Well, I want to try and have another crack at photographing ptarmigan, which I did uh, last late November or December, I can't exactly remember which, and uh, that was a few kilometers that way on a different hill. But I thought, because uh, I saw the weather forecast and the weather forecast was going to be really good. I thought, uh, let's go up and see if we can uh, get some pictures, a video of the ptarmigan up here on the sort of western edge of the main Cairngorms where I am. I've seen tracks of mountain hare and I've seen red grouse and deer on my way in already, which were quite good. Um, obviously it was dark and I didn't have actually didn't have my uh, big camera available. I had it sort of buried in the rucksack because I didn't uh, want the distraction. I knew it was going to be a really late one anyway because I was, wasn't going to be leaving Troon until kind of evening time. So less distractions should have meant it uh, was quicker getting up here. Anyway, I've uh, boiled up some snow, so I've got a supply of uh, fresh water and uh, obviously set up my camp, everything's ready up here for the night. And I've um, just been taking a little time lapse with the Z7 of the Moonlit Hills, although now that this snow's come in, I'm not convinced that uh, that's worth continuing, which is just as well because I'm knackered and I think it's time to go to bed. But uh, in the morning, we'll get up nice and early and go another three, four hundred metres up the hill up there and see if we can find some time again. And uh, I really hope that with a little bit of extra altitude, the snow will be that little bit more frozen and I won't be falling through it all the time. And also not having the big pack on my back will probably make uh, moving around a bit easier as well. So yeah, well, uh, talk to you in the morning. I'm going to have a comfortable night in my little tent up here on the mountain in the snow. And uh, yeah, talk to you tomorrow.
Well, good morning. Um, what absolutely amazing morning it's been so far. It's just stunning up here, absolutely stunning. So glad that I put in the effort to trudge up the mountain last night to wake up up here rather than waking up somewhere down in the woods and then not sort of experiencing this, you know, beautiful sort of cloud inversion, sort of mist in the in the valley down there. There's thin cloud above as well, but it's yeah, it's really good. Now, in terms of looking for ptarmigan, that's excellent as well because if it were bright sunshine, actually photographing a largely white bird would be a problem. Uh, it'd be quite difficult to get the exposure right, but with a little bit of hazy cloud like this, it's sort of, um, I don't know, kind of diffusing the sun, that ought to actually be, make for a really kind of nice light for, well, most of the day really, so uh, quite pleased about that. So I spent a very comfortable night in my little tent, which I've had since I, think I got that in. 1998, nine, something like that. It's certainly, uh, certainly pretty old and it's doing absolutely grand. And uh, yeah, hiking up a mountain in the middle of the night, in the winter, on your own, and camping up in the snow is not a thing to be taken lightly, but if you are comfortable, doing it and you've got the equipment and you know how to use it then it's absolutely fantastic fantastic thing to do it's really really good so uh, yeah I'm really just enjoying sitting here I mean it's almost I'm almost finding it difficult to kind of <clears throat> gather myself to walk up another 300 meters of ascent up onto the ridge up there which is where I hope I'll find some time again. So I'm just going to finish my coffee and maybe have a couple of cereal bars for my breakfast and then pack the few things of this I'm going to take up on the hill into my big rucksack and uh, start wandering up and see what, uh, see what can be found. Um, wildlife photography comes with no guarantees whatsoever and of course it's entirely possible that I won't see any time again at all but I don't think that's going to matter even if I don't see a single time again today it's been absolutely brilliant being up here and going up there I'm sure the views are going to be absolutely spectacular so even if I don't come away with any um wildlife photographs I'm going to probably take some nice landscape pictures and I'm just going to have a really nice morning up on the ridge and uh, yeah then the plan is actually that I've got to go back down to Troon this evening and I don't really want to do that super super late so I'm going to try and be packed up and well on my way down the hill before sunset although I can see some advantage, if the weather's nice like this still in the evening, I can see some advantage of still being just above the tree line before the sun actually sets and maybe get some pictures from there across the pine trees into sort of the next valley looking, uh, looking west because that might be really, really cool. But uh, yeah, coffee, cereal bars, pack the rucksack and go and see if we can find some time again. And I'll talk to you again later.
All right. So I think the mountain has beaten me and uh, I'm pretty sure we're not going to see any time again today. It has been really hard moving on this snow. I had hoped that uh, when we started to get a little bit more altitude that the snow would be more frozen but this stuff's really thick and powdery and realistically to have had any chance of uh, seeing ptarmigan today I would have had to be able to move around the hill much more freely and cover far far more ground uh, looking for them so in these kind of conditions you'd have to just get absolutely dead lucky or yeah just spend several days looking I suppose but it's taken me far longer maybe three hours to get from down where my tent is down there up to here on the ridge or nearly on the ridge the top's just over there but I don't even think I'm going to go that far because to be honest it's uh, midday and if I'm going to be packed up and sort of leaving from camp soon after sort of two three o'clock I need to turn around now and yeah so the mountain has won and I haven't seen any time again but the views have been fantastic it's been so so nice up here um, it's gorgeous so uh, yes I'm sorry this video doesn't have the wildlife uh, photography that uh, I kind of set out to set out to do but I hope that the uh, the views and uh, the landscapes from up here are enough to kind of make up for that they certainly are for me um, I'm not at all worried that I didn't see the time again I mean sure it would have been nice to not lug all of this extra kit up here um, if I'd known but it's really, really good up here, really nice. So the plan now is to just hang out here for a little bit, watch the world. Like, uh, take a couple of pictures of the uh, sort of mountainscape out in front of me here. I've been taking some sort of um, slightly abstract pictures of some of the snow formations but uh, I don't know how well that's been going. So I think in terms of a vlog I'm probably going to end the video here um, and just I'll probably show some footage of packing up the tent and going down the hill but uh, unless I find something particularly exciting to photograph or to show you I will leave the vlogging part of the video now and uh, just say thank you very much for watching I hope you're not too disappointed that uh, there weren't any time again up here I'm it's not actually that disappointing when the views have been just so fabulous up here and yeah that's what wildlife photography is like um, you can spend all day looking for something and not even see a hint of it but if you've had a great day out on the hill or in the woods or wherever it is you're watching your wildlife um, it doesn't matter that's not the point the point is that you're getting out there and you're experiencing it and you're sort of being part of that landscape and uh, so yeah it's 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 great <laughs> I don't I don't mind that there were no timing in here and yeah if you've enjoyed the video on the basis of the landscapes and uh, vistas then uh, please like and share and leave a comment and if you like my videos please uh, consider subscribing to the channel and thank you to those of you that already have and uh, yeah I will either talk to you again later on if something exciting happens or I will see you on the next video and uh, yeah thanks for watching goodbye